Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with a quick transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. Today I'm cheating a little bit. I'm letting this keyboard jump ahead a few spots because I've had a lot of you guys ask me about this keyboard. So it has arrived and I'm going to do a quick overview. It's just going to be very quick. Take a quick look at it and I'll come back later and I'll do a full review. But I'll do... We'll take a look at it real quick. I'll, I'll give you my just initial impressions and I'll give you a stock sound test. So let's get started. So here we are. We've got the Fecker IK65. So real quick, uh, this is something that just came out recently. Um, somebody found it, I believe, on Taobao and then it appeared on AliExpress. I know a few people have already got it in hand. This one comes from the Keysland store. But just real quick, let's take a look at the box. I mean, it looks like the layout... Uh, it's very similar to the GMK67, though it comes with switches and keycaps. So let's go ahead and open it up. So just taking a look in the box, we've got the quick start guide, we've got a USB cable, and we have a wire switch and keycap puller. The keyboard does come protected with what you could use as a dust cover and a nice bag. And here we are, the Fecker IK75, and I gotta say, this is brown for sure. Um, we have a very clear Fecker logo here. We have um, the knob is one of those like uh, electroplated plastics, I believe. Um, and it's, wow, it's quite wobbly. These keycaps, uh, I usually like big text, but I don't know if it's off center, there's something off to me on it. And then the black being on the brown, um, I, I don't know. Just as I thought, it's a plastic D knob, so at least we can replace it. Um, but it's a, um, I always hated this. I forgot what it is. It's just electroplating plastic, but it just, it feels and looks very cheap. You've got a switch that has that same color. I guess it's a bronze uh, for turning it on for 2.4 and for Bluetooth. And we also have the USB-C port. I turned it on, but it looks like it probably wants to be connected before the USB, before the lights come on. So let's take a look at the back real quick. It looks like it might be fully snapped together. I don't know. I'm not going to open it today. But we've got a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Thank you for putting it there. And it says actually system Windows, Linux, and Android. Um, I like that they put Linux there. And we have a pocket just like on the IK75 uh, for the... 2.4 dongle. Um, it's kind of light, but doesn't sound bad. Let's take a look at these key caps. Oh, they're very, they're light. They're thick, but they're light. 1.5 millimeters. The caps are actually a decent width, and I think that lends to why it has that deeper tone. This actually might be a cherry. Oh, yeah, it does look like it's a cherry profile. So these are just some die sub keycaps now that was this is part of the issue that we had when I had placed the order for this it said matcha and then we're gonna have the fecker matchas on there now I think this is they call this a white jade it still is a fecker it's a linear it's a long pole and it has a nice snappy um, even a deeper tone and now this this will probably come off just fine with um, some nail polish, some non-acetone nail polish remover. We do have the sub-legends that it shows for the three device positions. We have Windows and Mac mode where they're going to switch the uh, modifiers around. Um, we see that we have, yeah, the, the legends are, I don't know, they're just, just a little off to me. But we can see how the functions, and then we've got, I guess those, are, I think those are the Mac. Uh, system controls that it does instead of function keys. Let me take a look at the stabilizer real quick. Uh, it does look like it's the palm material stabilizer. Let me see. And we are dealing with a PC plate. The stabilizers are pretty good. They got a bit of wiggle, but I've seen so much worse. And as far as uh, lubrication goes, there's just the tiniest amount. 
we do have what looks like a nice um, maybe it's a foam maybe it's a light silicone uh, between the PC plate and the PCB we appear also to have an IPX sheet above the PCB and it looks like we have a medium cell foam down in the case below um, doesn't tend to lean to one side or the other so it's hard to tell the battery might just be in the middle but um, it has decent stabilizers they sound pretty good and these switches are actually pretty decent um, stock we're dealing with north face so um, I know some people prefer some people don't care I've actually had this uh, keycap set sitting around for a while and I definitely uh, I'm gonna come back to this I'm gonna load it um, I think it'll look good on there I know it's brown on brown how creative but <laughs> all right so I'm gonna go ahead and try to go Bluetooth and see if I compare it with my uh, PC all right so I thought uh, once connected then the lights come on I've seen a lot of the newer wireless keyboards do this uh, which is pretty good the PC plate definitely helps the lights work the way that I like them I know some people will prefer the shine through I prefer the colors as an accent uh, down below um, I think this has some pretty decent and bright RGB of course I need to something that's not going to screw me up I mean, that RGB is pretty bright, but the case does have a weird, I don't know what to call it. It's like something is jumping inside of the switches. That, oh. I'm not doing, I'm not putting much force in this at all, but that... Ah, that doesn't sound good. That's that's honestly quite disappointing. I I also have to find out. I'm gonna reach out to Keysland. Uh, I've I found an is uh, an exe file for it, and I plugged it into my I installed it to my Windows um, workstation, and then plugged it in and saw the keyboard. It was fine, but it thought it was supposed to be a via. So I'm guessing or QMK via or just via but I'm guessing there's a firmware file but I don't know and that one I just found actually on budget keeps so uh, I will come back to this I just I know a lot of people have been asking me about it um, don't do this to it because it doesn't sound good I mean it didn't seem to break it everything seems to work um, we got two feet and that one foot is pretty high but um, like I said it's It, honestly, it's um, it's pretty good stock. I mean, if you can take a look at those keycaps, but you can also get the different ones. I don't know how how much different they are, but and we seem do seem to have some flex. So it looks like we do have some flex, which is nice. There's a lot more flex down in the center. So I mean, this is basically going for about the same price but uh, a lot of them don't have the free shipping so it comes out to like 60 bucks I think like either 55 or 60 dollars which with their shipping um, and it's roughly roughly the same to if not five dollars give or take from the GMK 67 bare bone um, now the GMK 67 does not have via this is supposed to and I'm guessing I just need to find the firmware um, but it is south facing while well, this is north facing um, the knob on this isn't very nice the logo uh, does it I mean even at least do it in the bronze like that meh, you know at least it blends in but that silver kind of makes it stand out too much but that can be gotten rid of uh, the switches though sound really nice it does have a PC plate um, if you do like shine through and want the north facing well here you go if you want a keyboard that just runs out of the box and already has switches and keycaps or who knows maybe you have a keycap set and you just want to switch it out for a keycap set that's gonna match uh, the colors then I, I, 
I can't say that it's not a bad, bad deal because the Fecker, I mean, I've enjoyed their switches. I've enjoyed their keyboards. I haven't had any major issues. Um, and like I said, yes, the GMK, I, if the GMK came with switches and keycaps, I would pick that over this if they were the same price. But even if I, because I'm not going to keep these keycaps, I don't even see using them on anything else. Because um, they're just, I don't know, they're weird. They kind of have me weirded out. Um, I almost just want to do the stock sound test and go ahead and switch out the keycaps to the ones I have. But uh, if you, even, you know, even if you're going to get this and buy just a set of keycaps, you never had to buy the switches, and the switches are decent switches that sound good stock. You don't have to worry about looting them. You're not going to have to tune the stabilizers. You can just, and you could, you know, if you wanted to, switch out the switches and the keycaps, and boom good to go i mean don't get me wrong i love modding keyboards but i'm seeing a lot more that are coming out that's like why do i even need to bother open it up it's good to go so this is the brown one it's got the white i think they he called them the white jade switches um the keycaps are just uh cherry they're pbt they're die sub but they're i don't know maybe you'll like them they kind of just, I don't know, they weird me out. They, there's something off about it. I don't get it. Maybe it's because these are too crowded. Um, maybe it's the sub-legends making them look comically big because the sub-legends are so tiny. I, I, I don't know. Uh, but the, the modifiers, definitely. It's like, what are, what are you doing? Why, black, on, black on brown. Did you ever look at a color wheel? Anyway, I'm not going to rub on that too much, but... I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I guess I should do a, a technical section, shouldn't I? Let's get technical. Today we're taking a look at the Fecker IK65. It is a three mode gasket mounted with a PC plate and a knob, 65% 67 key full pre built keyboard. It does have the option of via firmware, though I have yet to acquire the file. When I do, I will make sure to include a link below. It does include white jade linear switches, which are long pole, and it is three and five pin hot swap compatible. It includes poron dampener for the case and the PCB plate, as well as an IPX sheet above the PCB. The keycaps are 1.5 millimeter thick, PBT, die sub, this keyboard comes in either a brown or white colorway. The chin of this keyboard sits at 25 millimeters above the typing surface, while the back sits at 31 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of 5 degrees. Using the first pair of included feet will raise the back up to 38 millimeters, changing the angle of typing to 9 degrees. Using the final pair of feet, you will raise the back up to 46 millimeters, leaving you with a 14 degree typing angle. This keyboard manufacturer retails for $50 on Keysland, AliExpress, plus $12 for shipping. All right, so took a quick look at the Fecker IK65. It's a three mode wireless with a knob, um, though it's a slight bit more than the GMK67 taking shipping into consideration. It is a fully pre-built, which means it has switches, which are decent, and it has keycaps. Um, again, this was sent to me by Keysland on AliExpress. I'll put a link down below if you guys are interested. I will come back later on and open it up and do a more thorough review, but because I'm just skipping this ahead, I'm gonna do a quick edit and get it out because, I mean, this one is, I guess the name Fecker you know, has some prominence because the IK-75 is extremely popular. But when people heard about this one, I mean, I I was inundated with, should I get the GMK or should I get the IK-65? I'm like, I don't know. So um, I personally, if I had to choose between these two, it'd be a tough call. But I'm a little different because I don't, I think as pre-builds, as bare bones. That's how they are in my head, pre-builds are bare bones basically unless they have you know like 
a really expensive set of switches and a known keycap set and a full keycap set. Now that's you know a different story. Akko used to include an entire keycap set, so that was that's different. But when you know it's just that set of keycaps, it's only going to work on that keyboard or another one in that form factor. And if it's just those switches, the, you know I just got the, this one, 67. I don't have any extra, so I don't think of them as. And I know that's not fair, but most of the times on pre builds now this is changing. It's probably this year that the number is going to be skewed, but for the most part, historically, I take out the stock switches and stock keycaps and put them in baggies and throw them in storage. I have a whole mess load in there, which just reminds me I have to go clean. Anyway, I wanted to do this real quick. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with the, uh, the sound test of this stock with the YJ, white jade, the Fecker white jade switches and these keycaps. Again, I got it in the brown uh, colorway, but I'm going to come back to it. I definitely want to change that knob. I do not like that knob and I do not like this, this keycap. So, but I do like the switches and everything else I like, I like so far as what I've seen, except for the case. It, it makes a very uh, disconcerting sound. Now, uh, just don't do that. <laughs> I'm not saying, I mean, it's something to keep in mind. I have come across some, you know, keyboard cases that creak and they still work to this day. Um, I've come across some keyboard cases that don't creak and they failed. So <laughs> um, that's, that's kind of a, you know, a decision on if you think it's worthwhile. I'm gonna contact the seller about VIA and I will be updating this keyboard um, here in the near future. Like I said, I scooted it up into the schedule because it just arrived and so many people asked me about it and I just wanted to at least give you guys my impression. Um, if you want north facing and you're gonna be changing out the keycaps and the knob, I guess why not? But to me, if I, if I had to pick, I'd still go with the GMK67. Honestly, I, that's that's just me. But maybe I'll change my mind when I come back in here, take a look at it, open it up. I don't know. Things could change. But just as a first impression, um, yeah, there's just a few things that just make me go, uh, but again, I look at things a little bit differently. I'm Stop talking, guys. I got I got to at least edit this video to get it out there. So let me go ahead and leave you guys with the stock sound test, the Fecker IK65. And until the next transmission, which there's plenty on the way. Keep calm and keep word on.